So, so now we're talking about how do we plan a project. Well, remembering that a lot of the folks who might use this may not be uh, formally trained in project management, but very smart, capable people. Maybe their job is something else. Architect, marketeer, finance person, salesperson, administrator. But they still have to manage or participate in projects. So in terms of planning the project, why not follow these three links? Set up the project, so we do that. And that brings us to the project statement, or maybe you might want to call it like a project charter. And obviously, I've pre-filled in some of this. So if company office move project, um, we, we need some more space for the expansion, who the organization is, the project manager, the type of project, all configurable, of course, by you, status, where is the project, uh, date due, and project assumptions. Now, with SharePoint, you can add or subtract fields to this, of course. We'll just make a very simple change there, and we'll press save. So we've now added our project statement our project charter. Second thing we might want to do is add some tasks. So we click on the Add Tasks icon. Uh, we look here and we've got, I've obviously already added a bunch of tasks, not, not to delay you. So initiate the project office move, plan and set up the project, work on the project, confirm moving dates, get at least three quotes, select the moving company, discuss floor plan, do cleaning, parking, and so on. All right? And then I go into edit mode, and I'm in edit mode in this very simple grid. Well, let's do some planning here. Let's say that these tasks work on the office project move. Let's say the first one is going to start on, let's say it's Tuesday, April 3rd, right? Six days from now, and I'm going to drag that down, and say for all of those tasks. And let's say they finish on April 12th, all of those tasks, and I can say, yeah, I think that one will finish on April 12th. This one here, we're going to assign this to James Corbin. We're going to assign this one to Anne Wallace, and in fact, we think we'll drag that one down for Anne as well. So you get the idea that you can plan quite easily uh, your tasks in terms of the tasks, the timing, the status, not started, deferred. So let's say, for example, this one here is uh, is deferred for the moment. And then we press stop editing. Now it will, of course, save all the way through, but I stop editing at this stage. And I go back to my home page, and I do the third item, which is add documents or deliverables in, in terms of my planning of my project. So I see I've already added one document in, so I go new document, I go browse, I do office move preferences, and do OK. So I've now added more deliverables, more documents for us to work on on this project. So lots of other things I can do to plan the project, but there are three simple ones well outlined on the tiles that come by way of guidance. And again, when your people have used these training wheels, uh, you can get rid of them and, and make the home screen easier. And then for those who still want them, they can be available under guidance on, on a, an as-needed basis. Mm -hmm.